Okay, so I have it connected here onto the fuel rail into the jerry can. So now I'm going to go in behind into the cart and put those two wires onto the fuel the battery. And all that fuel. Go over my setup a little bit more here. So what I did was went ahead and put the jerry can here so I could pump fuel into it with this rubber hose attached to the fuel rail, which is on this nipple here, which the tool I used for that was this little tiny, it's for a bicycle, pulling out the little valves out of the air valves on bicycles or tires or whatever just simple little thing and pulled out the assembly that was inside which was this little assembly here so no whatever I don't need that anymore I just dropped it but when I, I went ahead and went to the trunk ripped out the wiring and hooked it up to the fuel pump so I went ahead ripped out the wiring hooked up the positive and then the negative of the fuel pump it's actually still running so let's rip that out it's dry out of fuel so used battery so that's how i got the leftover fuel out of my junk car so this helps you out please leave a like or comment if you have any questions or whatever but got a good decent amount of fuel it's right about here in the jerry can. Here, I'll set it on a flat. Okay. So, I got myself about to there of fuel in a 25 liter container. So, that's decent. This will run my lawn, my lawnmower, my uh, all sorts of little things here and there. But, I figured it was about time I got the fuel out. Good over 10 liters in there. So yeah, thanks for watching.